Take it easy there, Bumblebee. Welcome to Tennessee. We actually crossed the border back into Georgia, just up the mountain from Ruby Falls to visit Rock City. Perched at the top of Locan Mountain, Georgia, there's a natural 17-acre attraction that combines stunning scenic overlook separated by peaceful walks along winding paths and bridges through rock gardens and into narrow passageways created by massive granite boulders. And at the end of the gardens, there's a man-made cave known as Fairyland Caverns where elfin creatures inhabit a world of fairy tales and nursery rhymes. There's much to see as we explore this fantastic place, so come along and enjoy. How this place all began is, in the 1920s, a man named Garnet Carter began purchasing land at the top of Lookout Mountain, and his wife Rita planted gardens throughout the piece of property known as Rock City. Having created this beautiful stone garden, Garnet and Freda spoke of opening Rock City to visitors to Lookout Mountain. And here we are today. We start our tour at the Grand Corridor. Be sure to read all the signs. This is beautiful. This place can really spark some imagination. Some quick history of the first explorers of Rock City. This path is called Needle's Eye. The trail here narrows quite a bit. Walking sideways is required. And if this is uh, tough for you, I suggest you turn around and take the ADA path, because there's a tougher one than this one. You see the dwarfs? You guys didn't notice. <laughs> you will see these guys everywhere. Over the Grand Corridor right now, that's where we came in from. Uh, you can take a picture here. Uh, I'll cut one out and put it in for you guys. Goblins Underpass. It's a nice little rest area. You can sit and take a break. This little guy's busy. At this junction, you have a choice to either take the swinging bridge or to take the stone bridge. I was not gonna pass on this one, that's for sure. The 
The stone bridge gives you beautiful scenery of the swinging bridge. The swinging bridge gives you some beautiful scenery of the Tennessee River Valley. This is not recommended for people who have fear of heights and at the same time motion under their feet. Entering the Seven States Plaza. Lover's Leap, story of two Native Americans that fell in love and the two tribes didn't get along, so they were forbidden. Sort of like Romeo and Juliet. Here's a perfect example of a barn with the Sea Rock City sign painted on him. This fantastic man-made waterfall is 140 feet high and empties into a base which appears as a small pool. Fantastic scenery from up here. That's Observation Point, which we'll visit on the way out. Look, you see it all the way down there. Stone face. This way is Tennessee, of course. Well, this is Kentucky. That way, all the way down there. You gotta look at the mountains though, okay? It's not that close. And then the Smoky Mountains. You go look down, you see those mountains? Those are the Smokies. And that's South Carolina, 80 miles. That's way down there. And this is Georgia. And Alabama's this way. Oh, down there you see the tip of the mountains. Majestic scenery from Lookout Terrace. Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Kentucky Alabama, Alabama, South Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Georgia. Cafe Seven. It's very nice up here. We really got lucky. No big crowds at all. So we're taking a break, just chilling, taking it all in. Give him some back too. If you don't like crowds, this is the place to come during the weekdays. But on the flip side, you miss a lot of shows, a lot of special events. So, give and take. We enjoyed it. We continue on and we hit the Fat Man Squeeze. Thought the other one was tight. This one's a doozy. Unless you're a gnome, you got no choice but to walk sideways here and duck in certain areas. Huh? 
Man Squeeze. Yeah, i semi. what we were looking at from Lookout Plaza and there we are looking back. Rainbow Hall is pretty interesting. Get to see Chattanooga in different colors. Get a closer look at Lover's Leap. Perfect place to take pictures. Before getting into Fairyland, we hit the last natural wonder in this park. The huge 1,000 ton stone balanced on a few rocks here. Looks like it's leaning against the mountain. Last look at our mystifying lady, who she is. Let's leave it to the imagination of each individual. Approaching Fairyland, we meet some gnomes tending a still, little bootleggers. is Frida's masterpiece where Rock City abandons the real world and ventures into a world of fantasy. Set into the walls are a series of dioramas of children's fairy tales. All of the characters are unpainted in fluorescent colors, lit only by ultraviolet light. Fairyland Caverns climaxes at Mother Goose Village, a dark room the size of a small auditorium. The cat's going in the well? That, that's not Pussy. Pussy's in the well. That's Who's put her in the little Tommy Lynn? Who pulled her out? Little Johnny Stout. They saved her. Uh, this one is little Jack Horner, sat in the corner. And there was a little girl who had a little curl. Oh, that's Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Quick. And then suddenly you're back out into the sunlight, back into the real world. I smell leather. We have gnomes in That's what it's called. <laughs> this attraction is so cleverly laid out. Beautiful scenery and a waterfall, great gardens, a family theme. 
the kids will never forget. And you may even get lucky and get to see a bumblebee giving you a finale here. We hope you enjoyed it as we did. You all have a great day.